Hello friends, it's Mary back from Rocky Mountain Gardens. And if you are new here, my channel is all about beautifying your home and your garden. And since it's winter time, we're going to be focusing on our homes. Now today, guys, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I have been seeing on YouTube with all of the latest um, uh, fads in decorating, you know, what the trends are going to be for 2022. And guys, I really encourage you not to pay a lot of attention to those um, statements about what the latest is because we want to decorate our homes so it is warm for us and it is a home that we want to come home to each day. So I really do encourage you to decorate your home in the style that pleases you. And don't let anything else interfere with your desires for your home. Because trends, as you know, come and go, and really your home should be your special place. So decorate it, as I've talked about in earlier videos, with uh, family memories, family heirlooms that you might have if you're fortunate to have received some, you know, pictures of beloved family members, and also um, whatever style pleases you. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that my style is cottage, vintage cottage to be specific. Now that doesn't mean I my house looks like a museum and everything is antique or vintage and you know you feel like you can't touch anything. I wanted my house to be welcoming and comfortable. And you know, so my family and my friends are happy to come and just relax in my home. Not a showcase of antiques. So that's my encouragement. Mix up, you know, your vintage pieces with more current pieces. Uh, whatever you happen to find at thrift stores and you want to repaint or redo to fit your style, you go right ahead and do that. I feel there's just too much emphasis on uh, following those trends and having to be, you know, cool like the, your neighbor next door, something like that. I think we need to get away from that. So today I'm going to give you a tour of my home and how I decorate for the winter time. Now, I always feel sad and maybe you do too, after all the beautiful Christmas decorations are taken down. So rather than let my home feel blah because Christmas is over. I like to put out things that cheer me up and remind me of the winter season because if we can love and appreciate each of the four seasons as they come by during the year, I think it will do your heart good and will add some cheer to your life actually. So let's get started and I will be playing some beautiful music I hope that you will enjoy as we look around and I'll be coming in and telling you a little bit about what I've done during the tour as well. I hope you enjoy it and let's go and do the tour. We will start here at the entryway to my home. If you came by to look at my Christmas home tours, you'll notice that I have really utilized many of the same things, taken away all the red and the bright greens of Christmas and just added the colors of blue, white, silver, those are my favorites to use for winter decor. Now 
You will notice that I do like to use snowmen for my winter decor and my snowmen that I have collected are ones that are white with grays and blacks and silvers and blues rather than the traditional red and green and I think they fit in really well with what we think of as those icy frosty days after Christmas. Of course I like to utilize candles for the dark dark days of the winter time. They are also a very cheerful thing that you can easily add to your home. Here in my dining room, I have gotten out some of my frosted uh, little trees. I love to use them on my table in different areas of the home. Green trees covered with snow. What can be more winter time than that? <laughs> ice skating snowmen, ballerinas that are snow ladies, and faux snowballs. Always fun for my grandsons to play with when they come by. Of course, I bring back all of my um, house plants after Christmas. Some of them get put away because I just don't have room with all of the decor for the Christmas season, but they certainly do come back afterwards. And it's a little touch of bringing the outdoors in when you have house plants in your home. And I've changed out my candle holders from brass to silver and pewter colors for this time of year. There's a little Steiff teddy bear that I bought in Germany when I lived there. And I have gotten out my picture collection after the holidays as well and more green trees and just lovely snow covered greenery for the season.
Let's have a close-up of this darling little snowman and snow lady couple that I got thrifting. And look at that gorgeous vintage plate they're standing on. Oh my goodness. Of course, what is a refrigerator without artwork done by your children or your grandchildren? <laughs> Here I have some cuttings from my plants so that I can, of course, make some new babies I love to have additional plants in my home. And another snowman with my rolling pin collection. Now in my hearth room, of course you'll see more plants. This is the south facing side of my house, so I do get the most sunlight over on this side and my plants actually do pretty well here. There I've got some atlas and ball jars. And you can see my colored uh, bottle collection is not so visible as it gets dark. Coming around, here's my hearth. I don't really decorate for Valentine's Day, but I do have one little touch of Valentine's with this vintage print. I also love this sparkling snowy greenery arrangement sitting on my hearth. I've been collecting books, more and more of them, on my thrifting adventures, and I, you will probably see me using them more and more in my decor. Being a librarian, you know, you just must love books. On my table, I have this lovely jadeite cake stand that was a gift from my daughter for Christmas and another snowman couple for salt and pepper. Aren't they darling? And I have another snowman and a few wintry touches on this cabinet as well. Friends, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this tour and it has given you a few ideas for decorating your home over the winter season. And I want to say thank you as always for your wonderful comments. Please let me know what was your favorite touch that I added to my winter home and what might you like to add or do you have some ideas you could share with me as well. I know there are many talented decorators out there and I would love to hear from you. So again thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I hope to see you again very soon. Please take care, love to you all, and bye for now.